everyone welcome to patty's polish corner today is the youtubers weekly nail art stamping clay up and hosting this one is Maze nail designs and the theme is ladybugs how exciting so let's take a look at the uh, lovely ladybug designs mine will be the last one and then i'll show you how i created it everyone's videos will be in the description box below as i receive them and I guess that's it, so let's get started. Okay, so I have some ladybug foil arts from She Modern, and these are one of the samples that I had gotten in with um, some of my other kits or packages. And Tina from She Modern is always coming up with new ways of using these easily. So we don't have to cut them in strips anymore, which is pretty awesome. And it's a good thing that I got some ladybugs because I, I don't have any... I don't have any ladybug stamps, so yikes. So we're going to be using shiny no clean top coat for these and Dracula's cup, which is a really pretty shimmery red. My nails are super, super short. <laughs> so we are just gonna use the little teeny ladybugs and um hold on on the mixing canvas we're just gonna put a drop that's all we need of dracula's cup and i have a super fine detailed brush we do not need a lot to color this in just a little bit we want to keep it nice and flat as possible So we're just kind of putting a little bit on here and moving it around. And then we'll flip it over and you can see it is colored in. Oh, I missed a little spot by his little wing right there. So I will just get that. And we'll go outside the line. All right. That looks awesome. So I'm going to just do another one and then um, we'll come back. Okay, so I colored in a few, so I'm going to cure those for 30 seconds. I'm also going to put a little bit of snow ice over the red. I'm going to keep it really thin so it's not going to be bulky, but I think this will help it pop on the color that I'm actually going to use today. So again, with the fine detail brush, Put a little bit of white over it.
Okay, so I'm still keeping that very thin there. So I'm going to do that with the rest of them and then cure it and come back. Clean up on my mixing canvas is really easy. Just squirt some, um, it's not even acetone, it's um, alcohol on there. And good to go, put that away. And these little guys are all ready. Okay. Okay, now with the no clean top coat, we're just gonna wipe it over, but we're gonna brush off a lot. So we just have a little bit on our brush because we don't need a lot. And then we're just going to brush it over. And if you notice that my white is a little pink, I did not clean off my brush very well <laughs> before I moved from one little, before the red, before I put it into my little drop of white. Doesn't really matter, it's fine. I just, just in case you guys noticed that, I wanted to let you know. Okay, so yep, that's it, just a, a thin coat. And actually, you probably have enough on your brush to do them all. Just wanna make sure that you cover the whole image. Yep. Over. This is all we need. Yep. All right. So these guys are completely covered and they're very thin so that makes them a good decal and we're just going to cure it for 30 seconds i know wave gel cures in 30 seconds some of them might cure a little longer i think whatever gel tina uses she does for a minute you just have to make sure that it is completely cured and i know wave gel is completely cured in my lamp for 30 seconds because I've tested it and I've, I over cure it, then it doesn't come off real easy. So this is what we're gonna do. Now that they're cured, you're just gonna take a sharp tweezer and you're just gonna scratch at the edge of the decal, which I've never had any luck doing it on my stamper head. So I'm just going to move it onto a hard surface, which the mixing canvas is perfect for and now all we do is have to scratch these little guys off just scratch at the edge a little bit and when it starts lifting just peel it up and oops mine were all connected but that's okay because I can just cut them apart and that'll be fine I kind of thought that might happen because I wasn't that careful um, but that's okay because I have a little pair of scissors right here Okay, and everything also comes with a little sticker paper. So I've got the little sticker paper right here. And I'm just going to hold it with my tweezers. And I'm just going to cut them apart. Not a big deal. I'm going to use them, I think, right away. So I will just... Stick them on the sticky paper. Oops. On the, I mean, it's not sticky paper, it's sticker paper. So I'll just put them there. And whatever I don't use, I'll show you how to turn into a um, sticker. It'll stick on there. And we're going to look at these sideways. And yep, I got those good and flat. So we should be good to go. All right, let's paint our nails. And here we go, look how much nicer that is. You don't have that little thing flapping around. So we'll just put it back in its protective sheet right there. There we go, there we go. So right now I'm gonna add the Wave Gel Base Gel. I don't normally show the application of the polish, but one of my um, subscribers said that she kind of liked like watching that so i'm just going to do the one nail well obviously i'm going to do them all but i'm only show you on one nail so you don't have to watch me paint every single nail so you want to keep 
it nice. When you're working with gel, you want to keep it nice and um, thin. You want to make sure you don't get any on the edges because once you cure it, that is it. It is cured and you cannot wipe it off. I'm going to be using Coastline today, which is this gorgeous teal green and it changes to a beautiful light green. I really, this is like one of my favorite greens, completely love it. Okay, so when we're working with gel, we want two thin coats. I don't know what's wrong with my fingers. Ugh. Like the sides of my fingers are kind of like, they go up so much that I always end up with some sort of nail polish on my skin. So I'll show you how I clean it up because it is so freaking annoying, especially with gel. So I buy these little cleanup pens and I just, I just dip them in acetone. I have a little jar and just clean it up and now it is ready to be cured. Okay, so we have one coat. Let's do another one. All right, so we have two coats. Okay, so since my nails are really short right now, I don't want a lot of bulk on them. So I'm just going to remove the tacky layer and then do my stamping directly on the color. Normally I put, um, normally I put the top coat on then stamp over it and put the top coat on over that, but that's just gonna be way too much going on today. The stamping plate I'm going to use is Uber Chic and it is from the collection number nine, plate number one. And it has a bunch of fun images, a bunch of fun summer images. And of course, I'm going to use the leaves. So I have something for my ladybug to hang out on. And I like those leaves. And I'm going to use my new. Um, favorite black stamping polish and this is on the black by Brave Steva Polish. I'm going to use my Moe London Stamper and Scraper. I'm going to attempt to. This one has been hit or miss lately so I know it kind of it likes this stamping polish so I'm hoping it's going to like this stamping plate. I don't know it's just been finicky lately. Damage looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go with that and we're gonna do this right here. Oh, I was talking too long. Uh, okay, let's try it again. This, um, the details are very thin, so we'll have to work like really fast. There, it works perfect. Okay, I would probably move to my sticky stamper, but I really want to place this one leaf on my finger, and I'm going to need to see to do that. Okay, I just went ahead and stamped the leaves on all of my fingers. And now I am going to apply the top coat before the next step because I know if I wait too long, um, the stamping polish with it being so thin can actually start 
to um, the image can start to flake off. So I'm going to go ahead and top coat these and cure it and come back. Ooh, I wanted to show you this. Look at that color change. Is it beautiful? Did I not tell you this one was beautiful? <gasps> this one just, oh my gosh, it looks so amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be just sitting there looking at my nails forever now. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the video. I just got I just got another idea to do with this um, exact Manny. I can't wait to do it. <laughs> okay, but right now we're going to do, um, we're gonna do these little, whoops. Little, gonna put these little, um, what do you call them? <laughs> Ladybugs on my fingernails. I'm just going to take this little stencil stopper flexible thing here and just push that down so he's staying on there pretty good oops sorry about that you probably didn't see any of that so I don't like the spot of him I don't know if it has to stay there you know what? He's going to stay there. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. Okay. Let's see the next one. I'm going to use, I'm going to lift up. I think. No, it's really stuck on there. Let me use this one. All right. There we go. I didn't put any glue on these either. Okay. And I'll put this one here like that, like that. Now this one has Quite a bit of, my fingernails are so small, so I'm just going to trim some of this outer part a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to trim a little bit around here so that I can get the top coat surrounding the image so that it doesn't um, lift off. There we go, because you need to be able to get the um the top coat around all sides of your little decal or you're gonna have lift off and so i'm just gonna take this and smush it down really good and so now you understand why i put the top coat on over the stamping and since i'm only using two of them um the rest of my nails are already finished then so i'm just going to add another top coat so let's do that Okay, so just put a nice generous amount of top coat on. Make sure he's all sealed in. And I'm just going to do that to the other one, cure it, and then we'll come back for the final look. Okay, now we're gonna save these for later. Later, um, So we're just going to lift them off the sticker paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a teeny bit of glue. It's some um, foil glue. So just wipe off a lot. And just put a little bit on the back. and it'll dry clear. Okay, and when that dries clear, we'll just put it back on the waxy paper and we'll save it for later. Okay, so now that these are dry, we'll just pick them up. Oops. And stick them on the sticker paper. We'll just stick right there. Perfect. And then you can store these however you want. I um I use I use a little um you know photo album to store my little stickers and stuff like that. Or you can just store them back in you can just put them right here in the back of the little paper. Put that like that. Um, you can do whatever you want. Just store them right in here. 
however you like to do it. I, I just find this is really convenient. Okay, and the stencil stopper is completely reusable. So just put all that stuff back in a little poly bag. Now we're gonna take a look at my final masterpiece. This has to be my favorite summer plate, my favorite summer polish. And I'm really digging those little um, ladybugs on there. It's very cool. Let's warm these guys up and get a color change. Okay, and here they are light, but it's so cold in here. They're starting to get dark right away. Um, so I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.